Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday morning or whenever you're playing this video. I hope you guys just have a great weekend. My name is Alyssa and I am back for another cleaning video. Today we are going to be just prepping, taking down fall decor and getting ready for the holidays. I've put out a few videos of me deep cleaning my kitchen and living room and some other spaces. So this is just kind of that final video to get all of the floors and the surfaces prepped for the new decor. I took a little break there and I was kind of talking to my son. He was asking me some questions, so that's why I just stood there for a little while. Right now I'm just going in and taking off all of the pillow covers and gathering up some throw blankets. And that's just because I do have some other pillowcases that we pull out for Christmas. I don't have a lot of variety in my pillowcases for my Christmas decor, just one white pillow cover and I kind of just put them all over the place and call it winter wonderland so the kids get excited because my pillowcases for Christmas are super soft. This video is going to be released on Saturday morning so if you're watching this I am planning on putting my first Christmas video of me decorating my house up on Sunday morning at 7 a.m. So if you want to see that video please come back Sunday morning and I'm going to be starting all of the decor decorations in my house and then we'll see if I need a part two. I'm not sure how long the video will end up. If I do do a part two it'll be released on Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. So if you guys are interested I am planning on posting two videos a week and then sometimes I'll throw in a bonus video every, every once in a while. My voice is kind of cracking and every once in a while it's a struggle to get some words out. So if you happen to notice that, I did end up getting sick. My last video I said that my boys had a fever and it was turning into kind of a cold. And I did end up getting their sickness. So because of that, I will end up playing music through most of this video. And I hope you guys enjoy the music and can sit back and just relax. Maybe drink a coffee and work up the motivation to clean your own home. Stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me?
As you can see, the kitchen was quite a disaster and that's just because, like I said, my family was sick and I was also not feeling great the past couple of days. So today I am tackling what's left over from last night's dinner. So usually I do clean up every single night, but you know, there are occasions where I just don't get around to it. So it felt good after I finished this video that I can sit back and relax and enjoy my home. Today it's kind of nice. I get to motivate myself by saying after I'm done I get to relax and watch the Seahawks game with my husband. We were supposed to host today some family members and um, I have a grandpa visiting from Wisconsin. That's where I was born and you know he flew in to visit us for Thanksgiving and I was looking forward to hosting but you know there was just it didn't end up working out so I'm hoping to get better so I can see him soon. We were going to host and watch the Packer game today, and I was super excited. It was going to be kind of nostalgic. I don't watch the Packers regularly anymore, but it's definitely one of those teams that I do like to follow and keep track of. And we used to have giant Packer games um, and get-togethers with family and friends when we lived in Wisconsin, so I do miss that. And even though we get together to watch the Seahawks games, it was just really nice thought to be able to get together with some of my family from Wisconsin and watch the Packer game.
If you saw me throw my sponge into the microwave for about 15 seconds, I have posted before in previous videos, that's just what I do before I hand wash dishes. I like to zap it in the microwave and really heat it up to get rid of bacteria. And then I just feel like it makes me feel like my dishes are so much cleaner when I'm hand washing. So I do change out my sponge regularly, but it does feel good to just make sure it gets super hot and hopefully it helps with bacteria. I'm not 100% sure. Here I'm just taking down some Halloween pictures. We put on some doodling um, videos from YouTube and I doodled some ghosts and pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, a bunch of different Halloween things. And then my kids just kind of colored them in. We had a bunch of fun. It was a great night, but it is time to pull it down. This chalkboard here is actually from Etsy. I love it so much. We usually just put small little arts and crafts hung up on here. And then this is actually usually for cards or save the dates for weddings, things like that. Sometimes we'll have little pictures or birthday cards. I'm clearing it off because, well, we didn't need the Halloween stuff on there anymore. And then also we just need to make room for Christmas cards that come in the mail. Now that the fall decor is all packed away and it's feeling very clean, it's time to just finish off the day with the floors. They were in desperate need of cleaning. If you saw the before clip, I tried to show how dirty the floors were. These floors are dark and surprisingly, they do a great job of hiding crumbs and dirt. So it, it can be a little hard to see all of the grime on the floor, but it is there, I promise. What I'm using is the Bissell. It's the corded crosswave version. It can clean area rugs and hard flooring. And I've shown it in a previous video. This thing's amazing. I love it a lot. I do wish it was cordless, but you know, I did try a cordless wet vac mop and the battery ended up giving out after just a couple of months. So that kind of scared me and I never ended up buying a new one.
I apologize if the video got a little blurry. I'm not really sure what happened there. It does fix itself in a little bit, so I apologize for that. We live in the state of Washington, so it is definitely a rainy, foggy, wet kind of state this time of year. So um, I don't know if you can tell, but the lighting does jump around a little bit today. And that is just because outside is... Uh, just very interesting today. We've got kind of cloudy weather, then the sun pops out, then cloudy weather, and it was really hard to, you know, turn on lights and turn them off and make sure that the lighting was perfect this entire video. The cardboard box that I showed you earlier in this video and then now it's sitting on the stairs is just a target box from a delivery I had. The boys taped together a couple of boxes and then they made holes in it and tried to add wings. So it was super cute. They call it their rocket ship and they've been taking trips to the moon together. So I thought that was pretty adorable. Here we've entered into what we call our fish room. It's a room that doesn't have really doors. There's barn doors, but they're more decorative than useful. And so this is kind of right next to our living room as you walk into our house from our front door. We love this room. It's just kind of an extra space and we didn't need a place that was just devoted to like an office. So we love this room and my husband loves fish. So he's really gotten into aquariums and we've definitely added to our collection over the years. 
Um, I do give a little overview of some of the fish in some other videos, and I think I show some additions in this video. My husband did go shopping, and we did end up with some more neon tetras, and we put those in the upper tank, so I will be showing you that in today's video. I totally just dropped one of the plastic pieces into the toilet. That's so gross. I thought about editing it and cutting it out of the video, but I always show real life here, even the mistakes. So I did end up having to clean that and clean my hands. So don't worry, I made sure to sanitize everything, but it was just kind of funny. We are moving almost every single piece of furniture on my lower floor today and I don't do this every time I mop. Usually what I end up doing is I pick one or two pieces to move every single time I pull out my mop and that just keeps me from having to do a day like this. I definitely prefer it that way but today I just really wanted to get in and do a really thorough deep clean.
If you've made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much. I'm so happy that you made it to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching and it really just makes my day to see how many people watch this video and like and comment. It's just really nice to know that lots of people are getting motivation from the content I put out. If you guys have any helpful criticism for me, I would love to hear it in the comment section. I am totally okay with helpful criticism and I always strive to improve my videos over time. So I am hoping to put content out that gets better and better as time goes on. We are about wrapping up this video and for those who just stopped by or perhaps are new and have never seen my channel, I want to say welcome. And for anyone who's newly subscribed, I just want to say I'm so grateful for you and I'm very excited to show you more content in the future. I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend and I hope you come back to watch my Christmas clean and decorate video. Mm -hmm.